Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Fish Market Academy, where we teach you how to fish for gains. So in this video, we'll be exploring the Phantom Ecosystem and how you can earn over 200 plus percent APR. So if you found this video useful, do remember to help like and subscribe, and let's get started. Just a quick disclaimer, I do hold Phantom, and I am also in some of these farms. Okay, so the reason why Phantom is gaining so much population recently is because on 30th of August, they actually announced a 370 million Phantom incentive program, and this is to actually reward developers to build on Phantom. So uh, this is not uh, instantly, it's over a period of time, and developers will basically get this Phantom, and it's up to them what they want to do with it, either to provide liquidity or to uh, incentivize them in other ways. And uh, Andre, who is the founder of Yan Finance, is uh, he's a very prominent figure on Twitter, and he has been talking a lot about Phantom recently so I think that has caught the attention of a lot of people and that's why we are also going to explore the phantom ecosystem which is also a EVM Ethereum virtual machine compatible so you can just use from your MetaMask and it's quite uh, convenient you can actually bridge from Binance now previously their phantom network was suspended uh, and it's now uh, finally live again so you can actually just buy phantom on Binance uh, and then send it to your um, a phantom wallet directly. Uh, if not, you can actually use uh, X Pollinate or as well as the Spooky Swap Bridge, which I'll put the links in the description below on how to bridge from uh, BSC over to Phantom Network. Okay, so you're farming on FTM. Uh, there is a couple of uh, standard apps, so we'll just go through the more, more standard ones uh, in this video. So mainly in this video, we'll go through Zoo, Boo, Spirit, Scream, Reaper, Grim, and Tarot. These names are all related to ghost teams because it is, after all, in the phantom uh, ecosystem. So uh, let's take a look. So the first one we'll go through is Spooky Swap, and Spooky Swap is essentially the first uh, AMM DEX. So let's take a look at how it looks like. Um, yeah, so this is a Spooky Swap, and if you are, if you have used Uniswap or or Pangolin and all that, uh, it's pretty similar. It's basically the official AMM swap for the Phantom ecosystem. You can provide liquidity, you can uh, do farming, and they'll give you the uh, Spooky Swap token, which is known as Boo, uh, in exchange, and then you can also stake your Boo. And then for those who want to bridge over, you can bridge from Ethereum as well as from BSC. Yeah. Uh, the bridge is quite fast and it uses any swap. Uh, I tried the bridge as well and it has no issues. Um, and the next one is Spirit. So Spirit Swap is the second AMM on Phantom. I think they have more features than Spooky Swap. Uh, they actually have a lending and borrowing mechanism uh, called Ola Finance. I've not actually tried this out yet, but it looks very similar to uh, Aave or Compound essentially. Uh, and then they have uh, similar to Curve Finance, um, Curve Fi, V-E-C-R-V feature, but they call it in spirit. So basically your spirit token, you can uh, stake your spirit token for a uh, certain amount of time. The longer you stick, the more rewards that you earn. And then this spirit token gives you uh, certain benefits. For example, you can go over to Boosted Farms. And then the Boosted Farms, um, you can actually use your in-spirit tokens to vote on which farms you would like to boost. And the more vote a, a Boosted Farm has, the more emissions it will receive, which means the more rewards that it will give out in the form of spirit tokens. So I thought that was quite interesting. And of course, they also have a bridge and some NFTs. So I think they uh, do have a bit more innovation uh, compared to Spooky Swap. And this is typically the case, right? We, we see Pangolin Swap on Avalanche ecosystem having like almost just bare bones of what um, uh, an AMM swap should be. And then we see Trader Joe coming up as a second AMM swap, and then it has a lot more features. So um, I'm starting to see a trend whereby the most basic type of AMM swap uh, might actually have real competition from the second type of AMM swaps where they have a lot more uh, features and push out a lot more stuff. But I don't know if this is actually going to be, um, like if Spooky Swap will actually overtake um, so if Spirit Swap will actually overtake Spooky Swap in terms of like market cap and all that, uh, that has yet to be seen. Uh, for now, Spooky Swap is still the the one with the higher market cap and the one with the higher TVL. You can see the TVL here is 280 million. And then if you go over to the Spirit Swap, you can see the TVL is uh, not le not less than half. So it's actually, um, it's actually sort of a competitor. And this could potentially uh, catch up. So if this just double 2x, it's actually going to be... Oh, so it needs to be a bit more than 2x. Yeah, so I, I saw wrongly. I thought it was 208 million for, for a second. Um, yeah, so there is some competition in catching up for Spirit Swap to do. Overall, I would say Spooky Swap is still the safer token to be holding if you if you just want to buy the ecosystem uh, AMM Swap token. 
Okay, so the next one uh, is called Scream. So Scream is similar to Aave and Compound. Uh, it's like a landing platform similar to the one um, that Ola has. Uh, I have not actually used both because um, I think overall the rewards they are giving out is not very high. You can see the APY for supplying is relatively low. And on the Scream side as well, uh, the, the supply APY is not, not that high. I mean, 16% APY sounds high, but you are also taking the... Uh, screen rewards into consideration and then you have to keep selling it so that's a bit troublesome and if you compare with some of the other farms uh, they're actually not very high so i'll go through the farms uh, in a moment uh, but scream uh, looks like cream finance but i've checked with the team and they are not a cream finance fork uh, they are more of like a compound and ave fork but they just use the um, cream ui so i'm not super technical um, so i'm not sure if it's like super safe because if we if we take a look at Scream, there was actually a recent attack uh, just last week on Cream Finance. Cream Finance has always been attacked uh, multiple times already. So generally, I would avoid using Cream Finance or any applications that has Cream Finance in its code. Um, but this attack is not applicable to Scream because uh, the attack on Cream was on an ERC-777 token, which Scream does not have. So... Uh, I don't know if it's going to be an issue later down the road, but for now, it, the same attack cannot be done on Scream. Yep, yep. Um, okay, so the next one, um, the next one we're going to cover is the auto compounders. So the first one that came onto Phantom is known as Reaper. So I've tried Reaper, it seems uh, pretty interesting. So it's very similar to all your different types of uh, auto compounding vaults. Give me a second. Okay, just needed to sign to my MetaMask so that the vaults appear. So you can see it's uh, very similar to all those vaults that you have. And overall, uh, I've tried it and it works uh, pretty pretty well. Yeah. Um, do know that Reaper right now does not actually have a token. So if you find a Reaper token on Phantom, uh, it is actually not Reaper. It's, it belongs to um, Grim Finance. One more thing about Reaper is that it's actually a um, Yearn Finance fork. Um, not really a fork, but it was built on top of Yen Finance Engine uh, and the team seems pretty uh, competent and are very familiar with the Phantom ecosystem. Okay, so moving on to the second uh, compounder, it's uh, Grim Finance. So this is actually a beefy fork. I've compared the APY and for most of the common pairs, they are actually uh, very similar. So if you take a look at, for example, um, BNB Phantom LP, right? So we took BNB Phantom LP on um, Spirit Swap. You can see they're giving about 105% APY. And over here, it's giving about also 105% APY. So generally, I think it's um, very similar. Um, and I, I prefer to use Reaper because they are like the first and the more more established one with a higher TVL. Because if you compare the TVL, this is only 6.5 million. Whereas uh, Reaper's TVL is like five times higher. And usually the higher the TVL, the safer it is because um, the more trust has been given and also the more uh, hackers will try to attack the, the vaults if there is a higher incentive or higher reward in the TVL. And the fact that it hasn't been done shows that it's usually more secure. Uh, but Green Finance is interesting in the sense that they actually have two different types of tokens. They have the Grim token, which uh, is like the governance token, and you receive a distribution of the harvest fee, a distribution equal to 50% of the platform harvest fee. And Reaper is like the farming token, and there will be more features uh, and things that will that meets Reaper in the future and that they are building, but it's uh, not, not out yet. Okay, the last one is um, Terret. Okay, so this is Terret, which is a leverage yield farm. Uh, it's very similar to Soul Farm, uh, if you have used it uh, on Solana. So Terret is basically a auto compounder plus also a leverage auto compounder. So you can pick a pair that you that you have, for example, Spooky FTM Boo. Uh, you can actually uh, provide the, uh, the LP as collateral and then leverage on it. So let's show how that works. Okay, so uh, over here, I already have a certain position. I basically deposited uh, some 
FTM Boo LP. So you first have to actually provide the LP on SpookySwap. And once you, once you are done with that, you can go over here and deposit it in. And after that, you can change your leverage. So right now, I have a very relatively low leverage of just um, 2x. And I think that's quite safe because Phantom and Boo are like the ecosystem um, tokens and they should be less volatile compared to other more uh, risky uh, types of tokens. So I have done a 2x where you can see actually my equi equity was about 2k and then now it increased to um, 3.765 and that's basically a 2x and then um, I can change the leverage up and down if I want to. So I can increase it all the way up here, uh, but they will get actually a liquidation um, price. So this liquidation price is actually the liquidation price of your um, LP itself, which is a little bit difficult to, comp to, to estimate. Uh, but generally speaking, when you are at a 2x leverage, um, you can have a 50% drawdown. So uh, I don't think this Phantom and Blue Pair will have a 50% drawdown anytime soon, so I felt comfortable with a 2x leverage, uh, but I don't think I'll go any higher as well. Um, you can also always deleverage it if you uh, feel like something is um, it is getting very risky, or you can actually increase uh, your collateral by depositing more inside it if you don't want to deleverage. And then also when you finish um, providing your leverage farming, you can actually claim your spooky, uh, sorry, claim your terror tokens as a reward. Uh, so all in all, I think this is a pretty um, cool ecosystem uh, for for leverage your farming, and. It is a bit laggy uh, and buggy, so sometimes I have to refresh a couple of times before I see my um, new debt and all that. Uh, one cool thing about this is that you can actually just supply on one side and you kind of earn the APR. So let's say uh, Phantom Blue, right? You can see over here the supply APR is actually 117%. So if I don't want to borrow, right, all I can just, just do is simply supply my Phantom and I earn 117%. Um, for supplying that and that that's way higher than like staking your phantom and all that of course there is higher risk because the, there is a smart contract uh, risk and uh, who knows what might happen and all that but generally I think if you uh, don't put in too much you put in only what you can afford to lose then I think uh, it's quite it's quite safe um, yeah the last thing that I want to go through is probably the zoo uh, zoo coin cash so this is like where you actually can see your charts so you can go to the tracker and then you can see all the different uh, tokens uh, you can only see five unless you have more uh, zoo tokens in your wallet so that they have like a plan where let me see if I can find it they have a plan where for example if you want to start this then they will tell you like hey you need to have um, 5k zoo or 25k zoo a, a 5k zoo is quite cheap right now I think it's only about um, five hundred dollars um, and you can always sell it away after you're done um, but it only allows you to see up to six tokens so I, s I felt that was still quite little uh, and you need like um, maybe 50k zoo so like about 5k if you want to um, wait, I cannot remember how much is zoo's price actually oh sorry I made a sorry I made a mistake I meant to say hundred and fifty dollars so uh, if you if you want 5k zoo that's about hundred and fifty dollars um, yeah, so if, if you want to be able to see more um, tokens, then you can actually get more zoo. And I think 5k zoo, each zoo is about 3 cents, so 5k is about $150. So 25k zoo is essentially 150 times 5, about $750. Uh, and that gives you up to 8 watch list tokens, which I feel is enough. This is like the very most I would, I would actually buy. Uh, I don't think there's more than 8 tokens that I would want to be tracking for the Phantom ecosystem. Um, yeah. And they also have a aggregator. So if you are looking to make a trade, uh, you might want to check out the aggregator price first because, um, oops. So if you are looking for the aggregator, it's under trade and it's basically the first uh, DEX aggregator on Phantom. Uh, lastly, they also have a NFT ecosystem. Um, and I think they had a com uh, collaboration with SpiritSwap for, for some some SpiritSwap NFTs, but you can basically buy some NFTs here using the Zoo token. And last but not least, they have a wallet. So the wallet uh, basically tracks how much you have in the entire Phantom ecosystem, and it's your, your standard um, wallet tracker. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it for the Phantom ecosystem. Uh, I don't think I missed out anything else. And um, yeah, uh, what I have been doing basically is um, farming phantom uh, ecosystems. And what I've been mainly doing is farming on Terret um, to get the 200 plus percent APR using the phantom blue pair. So if you see on this pair, 
and you check the leverage, it's actually 216% APR. So I think this pair is quite uh, decent and that's the pair that I'll be doing. Hope you guys found this video useful and do remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!